Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artists at Heart. I am a certified art teacher, as well as I do in-person parties all over the place. But I'm from Ohio, so I'm all over Ohio doing paint parties and beach glass craft activities. So I want to teach you guys how to do it real quick with a simple supply list, okay? This is what I get asked all the time, the best products to use. Now, you guys are going to need a few items such as backing board. So backing board is a heavy duty thick board. I just want you to see how thick it is. It's strong, right? So you need something really supportive to support the weight of the beach glass or whatever it is you're collaging on here. So this is what I do to all of the frames, okay? I have two different frames for use to choose from. You can also find your own, of course. But frames don't come with backing board inside of them. They usually come with a piece of paper. So I literally take them apart and add the backing board to it. So again, this is one of my frames that I have in part. Do you, this one actually has plastic over it. So you unclip the back, take the frame apart, all right? This is usually what comes inside of the frame. We have the lovely Eiffel Tower here. Okay, so we can recycle this. We don't need this. This is not strong enough for the collage. So what we do is it comes with the mat board. We don't need the plastic, but this would be great for a different craft project. So save this maybe, okay, plastic. Here's your mat board. What I did was I took the backing board, which is eight by 10, and I tape it to the back of the mat board, okay? So it stays in place. And then I put it back on here and inside the frame, all right? Then you're ready to go. Then you're ready to start crafting. So I do this for all of my guests prior to the party. See that? And your artwork can go horizontal or vertical up to you. But that, again, you, you have to have a strong surface to create your beach glass on. I wish that the backing board came inside of the frames, but they don't, I have searched. So, and then this way too, if you wanna create it on the backing board, which is eight by 10, and then find your own frame and pop out, you know, with the inside of it, that's fine too. The one that I have right here, that actually comes with glass. So I take the glass out of it and recycle the glass and then add the backing board to it. So I have two different frames for you guys to choose from. Okay, so again, this is essential, your backing board to create on. Also, you need a really nice, strong glue. Now, I use this awesome gem tack glue. It doesn't smell. So when I do a large group of people, um, this works really well. It is really thick. So I prefer to take the cap off of it and then... I use a paintbrush. Now you guys can put the glue on a plate and dip in there, or you can just take the paintbrush and dip inside the paint, the bottle itself, and then apply the glue to the back of whatever it is you're gluing, like the stone. This is made for gems and glass and anything heavier. And again, it doesn't smell, which is really important to me. I, ha I can't take stuff that has a lot of smell. So this is the best glue that I have found. And I have a vat of beach glass here because I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay. And again, there's a variety here. I'm a certified art teacher. I collect a lot of stuff. So you guys can use any personal items, seashells that you've collected from your favorite beach, things that you've collected, sea glass, beach glass, whatever you want, you can also purchase it. Okay. So since I do, I live on Lake Erie. So a little bit of it, it's from Lake Erie, but from the shores of Lake Erie, but a lot of it I purchase because I do in such big bulk quantities. I need a lot. Now, depend. Oh, here's my masking tape. My masking tape bracelet. As an art teacher, this is where I always have my masking tape. So again, the masking tape is for you to tape onto the back of the mat board. Um, now, what your design is. The design is totally up to you. I create the design first with pencil. Then go over it with Sharpie. You can use black Sharpie, which I prefer, or you can use color. Definitely ultra fine point and fine point. Those are the two most common size markers you need for this project. So this one is the fine, and then I'll show you one with the ultra fine. So after you trace it out, you go over it with Sharpie, erase with a white eraser, okay? Because you don't want pink eraser marks on your beautiful 
beach glass collage. So I want to show you guys some more ideas. This is one that was created with the ultra fine Sharpie. So again, you draw it out first, trace over it with the ultra fine Sharpie and then erase your pencil lines. After it's all drawn out, then you put the, you find, it's like a puzzle. You find the piece that speaks to you and that fits in that shape that you like so much. Put the glue on the back and press it on. The glue will dry invisible. It comes out white, but it dries clear. Okay, so this is, again, really nice. The frames can go vertical or horizontal, portrait or landscape. All right, I want to show you some more projects just to inspire you. Oh, did you see my fish back here? You can add stones, see the little fishies. You could add sparkles. Oops, sorry. You could add sparkles. And that those eyes, I use the Sharpie to color in the eyes. So again, you can use the ultra fine or the fine point Sharpie and add any details you want. And the fish hook is also drawn in there with the ultra fine Sharpie. If you guys want to write something too, again, just think, do it first in pencil. Dare to be different. Can you see that? Dare to be different. Oops my lighting. But again, ultra fine Sharpie for this one. Stones, rocks, sticks. So there's sticks on this one. Beach glass, right? It's a combination of a variety of things with writing. So the hardest part is coming up with what you want to create. All right. And it dries actually pretty quick. I know I have more samples to show you guys. I just forgot where I put them. Oh, I have a whole box somewhere. <laughs> oh boy oh well you get the idea right so that's what you need you guys can text me message me email me whatever you want if you have more questions for me I had a stack of projects I wanted to show you but that's okay next time all right you guys thanks for watching I'm Denise be creative think outside the box make art and enjoy Thanks so much. Bye, you guys.